Hello, I'm Dr. Sano. So, I'm a director of the Sano Hospital Japan. So, I would like to introduce uh, my previous junior doctor, so Akira Teramoto. Uh, he has recently published an article, uh, Clinical Importance of uh, Cold Polypectomy During the Insertion Phase in the Left Side of the Colon and Lectin. So, uh, Akira, can you please uh, briefly explain uh, about your article? Thank you for the introduction, Professor Sano. Uh, I have conduct a, conducted a multi-center randomized prospective study uh, involving 220 patients to show the feasibility of performing polypectomy during the insertion phase of colonoscopy. Yes. And uh, I could show that um, uh, polypectomy during insertion phase improves time efficiency by 26% and eliminates all the missed and hiding lesions. Okay, congratulations. Why did you conduct this uh, randomized control trial? Well, I, I think uh, all endoscopists are quite familiar with this kind of situation yeah. where you um, didn't intend to find anything but you see some kind of polyp during the insertion phase. Yeah. And uh, I think most of the doctors tend to leave this kind of polyp until withdrawal phase. And, uh, but I think it's not very smart to leave this kind of lesion until the withdrawal phase and you, you pray that you will see again in, in, yeah. in the withdrawal phase because you, you might not be able to see again. In your trial also you use a unique uh, naming. Uh, so please let me know uh, why you have made your interesting uh, definition, uh, hinging polyp. So hiding polyps are the polyps found during the insertion phase, but could not be found during the first withdrawal action. So these polyps require extra effort by doctors uh, to be found. So, um, so you, you need to do something extra uh, in the colonoscopy. And uh, we have shown that 45% of lesions detected during the insertion phase becomes hiding polyps. Yeah. And each of them requires 2.5 minutes of extra re-inspection. Re re yes. So um, by simply changing the strategy, we, we, we don't have to waste time for searching these kind of polyps. Mm -hmm. And we can also prevent all the missed lesions. I see. So uh, in daily practice during colonoscopy, I often hear that uh, so expert doctors uh, tend to do instant removal uh, depending on the location or morphology of the parts. And uh, so how can doctors have been refusing to remove parts during the insertion phase? Um, there's no clear answer to this, but I believe that most doctors are quite worried about the having insertion difficulty of colonoscopy. So they would like to focus on protecting me during withdrawal phase after reaching the second. But, well, in this trial, I have shown that the incident time did not actually change. And also there's some uh, previous publications showing that the patient discomfort did not change depending on this uh, strategy. So um, we don't have to worry about having such a difficulty in, by doing this uh, method. Okay, I understand. So, do you actually feel uh, any uh, difference uh, in difficulty of the colonoscopy insertion? No, uh, I don't feel any difference in, uh, in the difficulty of scope insertion. Uh, in, in fact, there are some tricky cases when the polyps, is, uh, polyps are located at 12 o'clock or when the patient are having severe obesity or like uh, has abdominal adhesion. Um, I, I've written this article, but I, I don't mean that every single polyp in all cases must be rejected during the study phase. So you can select a uh, like conventional method if you like. Okay, I see. So how about you, Professor Sano? Obviously, you, you've been involved in this trial, so you have been removing polyps during the phase too? Yes, yes. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, so I was doing this method since a long time ago. And, uh, but I did not feel any difference uh, in insertion difficulty. Actually, uh, it may uh, make a difficult colonoscopy uh, for training endoscopists uh, who cannot regularly insert scope without any loop formation. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
But now uh, we are using a CO2 gas in suspension, so I think uh, it does not matter. Okay. So you have shown that uh, so total procedure time decreased uh, by 25% uh, in this trial. So I think uh, this uh, is very important outcome in your trial. So uh, do you have any comments on that? Um, in this trial, I have shown that 20% of all patients uh, had at least one left side polyp, uh, which was detected during the incision phase. So uh, this means that uh, all endoscopists will face about one or two polyps uh, during the incision phase. So uh, uh, decreasing 25% of total procedure time will be a big advantage for the doctors, I think. But clinically speaking, uh, the biggest advantage for the patient is the fact that uh, our strategy can deteriorate all the possibility of having uh, mis and hiding lesions without having any disadvantages. Okay. So, okay, uh, so how about searching for parts uh, during the insertion phase? Uh, is it necessary? Well, there are a few published articles which are stating that uh, Searching for polyps during insertion phase did not actually increase the number of polyps or uh, increase the adenoma detection rate. So it's not quite necessary to do this um, because I I even if you do the uh, inspection during the insertion phase, uh, it does not mean that you can omit the uh, inspection during the withdrawal phase. So uh, you will end up spending more time for searching polyps, so which is not what endos endoscopists are looking for. So. Uh, I don't think this is necessary. Okay. So, um, how about parts uh, in the light sided column? Um, why did you exclude it uh, in this trial? Uh, thank you for asking this. Um, well, the first thing is that if you're in the ascending column, you're almost reaching the cecum, and there's no point to change your strategy from this point. I think uh, I think the, the, the benefit is quite limited as well, so I wouldn't do this. And then, uh, secondly, if you're talking about the transverse colon, then, uh, well, I was saying that there's no disadvantage by doing polypectomy during insertion phase. We can actually expand our strategy to the transverse colon. But there are two published papers saying that the miss rate of the polyps during the uh, poly polyps in the transverse colon was 0%. Yeah. So uh, it's not necessary to do the polypectomy in, in the transverse colon during this insertion phase. But after finishing this, this trial, I started doing the polypectomy in the transverse colon too. So um, yeah, we, we can do this as well. Okay, I understand. I think maybe uh, leaders uh, are wondering, uh, but uh, if you remove the parts during the insertion phase, uh, you may damage the mucosa defect with the scope. So, was there any problem uh, regarding this? Oh no. Um, well, in, in the trial, uh, um, there, there was no uh, perforation or post bleeding, so uh, there was no disadvantage of the doing polypectomy during the surgical phase. And in, in fact, if you do polypectomy during the surgical phase, then we can confirm the hemostasis on the way back. So. Like after 10 minutes, you, you can you can watch the uh, defect and see if there's any uh, blood oozing. So if you see any blood at this point, then uh, th this will be a clear indication to add hemostatic clips. Yes. So so potentially this strategy can decrease the uh, post bleeding rate. Okay, so uh, I understand it's uh, safety. Yeah. So um, uh, this will be the end of this uh, interview. Um, and uh, congratulations for your fantastic work. I hope that all the readers uh, will enjoy uh, reading our article and uh, we believe that uh, this strategy uh, will become the standard in the future. And uh, I hope, uh, Akira, uh, you're doing well in the next step. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.